did the assassination change this country fundamentally? Well, it's an often asked question, and I don't have a really clear answer. It seemed to do, because it seemed to be the first minor chord in a symphony with uh, keyed to the majors mm -hmm. uh, through the Kennedy years up to then. Um, but then it seemed to usher in, it seemed to be the signal to usher in a nightmarish decade for this country. I mean, there was the Martin Luther King assassination, the Bobby Kennedy assassination after Jack Kennedy's, um, the uh, rioting, uh, burning American cities, including Washington, uh, parts of Washington after the uh, Martin Luther King assassination, and the growing cost of the Vietnam War. Yeah. By 1967, I was doing, I moved to the BBC, and I was doing stories on the, what that was doing to the domestic, to the domestic side of this country. It tore, that tore this country apart more savagely than uh, domestically than anything had since the Civil War. And um, all of that seemed to begin. Then Nixon came in and trying to, the, on, the, on the premise that he could end the war, and of course it expanded for a while after that. And there were the student um, anti-war movement and the moratorium and all of that. So when, now another way, that people say it the assassinated changed the country, it prevented Kennedy having another term when some feel he might have avoided the deeper commitment to Vietnam. He might have listened to those who said it was more a nationalist uprising than it was world communism spreading in Southeast Asia. Eisenhower, the president before, had warned against getting involved in a land war on Asia. And by the end of his presidency, Kennedy had demonstrated growing reserve or skepticism about the first advice to come from the Pentagon, from the military. He'd been burned in the Bay of Pigs, and thereafter he had reacted with extraordinary coolness and, and reserve, um, especially at the time of the Berlin Wall and the Cuban Missile Crisis, which the world saw as potentially the beginning of World War III, and so did people in Washington. So. He had shown growing um, uh, care, and uh, I happened to be in Cuba during the Cuban Missile Crisis because I had a Canadian passport, and I flew there and was locked up in a hotel room for nine days with a couple of other reporters. But in the first couple of days of the Missile Crisis when we were there, we could hear these American jets screaming in over the hotel, and I wondered whether I was going to get bombed by American planes, yeah. because Kennedy was being strongly urged by some parts of the military to go in and smash the hell out of the missile sites.